Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Matt Cornett about High School Musical, the musical, the series, season three, premiering on Disney Plus, July 27th. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome back to the show. It's good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you. Thank you so much for having me again. I mean, quickest like two time guest ever. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I would go to say I would go to say that's a fast turnaround. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, pretty crazy time. Zombies three. You know, season three of High School Musical. I mean, we can't. You can't really plan this and anything. But did you, were you given kind of a good heads up that it was going to be a busy July for you? Yeah, I would say back in, so actually whenever we were filming season uh, season three of High School Musical, there towards the end, uh, I, I had heard rumors, uh, nothing nothing like, you know, for sure uh, about release date, but I heard rumors that it would possibly be in the summertime. Yep. Um, and, and so I was like, okay, I mean, that makes sense. Like the season takes place in the summer. I was like, it would make sense for it to be released this summer. Um, and then Zombies... I, I don't think we had an actual date until oh, I want to say like a month and a half ago, like not, not too, too long ago. Yeah. Um, and so it, it was just interesting. Once we got the official dates, it was like official date for zombies came and then <laughs> official date for high school musical came like the next week. And I was like, Oh wow. These are literally within a couple, like a couple weeks of each other. Yeah. Um, and then the premieres are a couple weeks <laughs> apart from each other. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's so crazy. You know, it's three seasons now of high school musical, the musical the series. And I'm just wondering, like, do you save this? Is it safe to say you're getting more comfortable in terms of, you know, knowing a lot the inside outs of your character specifically? Mm. Or are you still kind of learning a lot and everything? Because every season, you know, the characters change and grow. It's been yeah. three seasons. Is that enough? Or are you still kind of trying to, like, figure out the character? Well, first of all, that's never enough. Let's keep making this show as long as people want to watch it. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, but no, I, uh, I, I, I think it's, you know, it's kind of a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, I think there is definitely a sense of EJ that I am very, very comfortable with. Yeah. And I, I, I know EJ like the back of my hand. And yeah. so that's you what know, I, I almost like, three seasons enough for yeah. you to know EJ. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like when I, when I get given, you know, a lot of times like Tim or one of the writers or, or, or you know, someone will come up to us, uh, uh, Tim, I mean, Tim Federley, the showrunner, uh, creator of the show, uh, either he or one of the writers will come up and just kind of like give us an alt line to try for something. And it's like those usually seem pretty simple just because we know our characters so well at this point. However, there are still so many, you know, storylines and character arcs that sometimes take still take some a little bit of effort trying to trying to, you know, play because there's a lot of things that. You know, you may not know exactly how your character might specifically feel about a specific uh, thing because yeah. we maybe haven't experienced that yet in the show. So this season, there's a there's kind of a lot of that and a lot of uh, things that I can look at uh, specific to this season relating back to like season one and two and be like, OK, well, he went through this in season one. He did this in season two. Yeah. So now this is happening in season three. I can kind of tie that into this and know he felt this way about that in season one, but he's also grown from that. So then, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough thing, but uh, I would go to say, I know him pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's interesting too, mm. because I feel like there's always going to be different mindsets when a show comes back for another season. And I'm wondering which one you lean towards more. Are you more on the kind of side of let's just make season three better than season one and two? Cause that's the point ideally, or are you more kind of focusing on like, just seeing how the characters grow and the storylines change and everything, or is it a little bit of both? I, I think it's, uh, that's also a little bit of both. I yeah. think, uh, you know, obviously ideally, I think you want each season to kind of like take the, take the notch up a little bit um, <laughs> and, and make it a little of better. What, of what you do, right? <laughs> What's that? That's kind of the point, right? <laughs> a, a little bit, a little bit, but you know, I, that's also like season one and two are so like fantastic. And I'm so proud of both of those seasons that like season three, obviously there was a lot um, like, how do we make this better? But I think, I think the writers and everyone involved in this show, making the show like really knocked this season out of the park. And mm -hmm. Um, it, it's, it's such a special season. It's my favorite season we've shot so far. Um, but no, I think it is definitely a little bit of both. I think, uh, you know, you do have to focus also on your character story, like stories and the arcs and all that, because, um, that in itself is what makes the season better. So 100%. You know, they kind of do tie in with each other, yeah. you know, quite a lot. Oh, a hundred percent. 
I mean, going back to kind of the early days when we were cast for season one, I mean, you know, it's going to be, it, 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 was, it was a massive announcement when this show yeah. was, was like that this was coming out. You know what I mean? Everyone's familiar with the high school musical movies and the yeah. brand is just massive. There's familiarity. And at the same time, there isn't familiarity because it's high school musical, the musical, the series, right? but like it's different characters, different songs and everything. That's kind of like a, like an interesting kind of spot that you and the cast were in a little bit. Yeah, it's, you know, it's tough. I still, I still, you know, meet so many people now that, you know, I'm, I'm friends with, or, or I meet, I meet friends through friends and, you know, they're always like, Oh, you're on the high school musical show. Like, are you the Troy Bolton? And I'm like, well, <laughs> no, uh, it's like, it's hard to explain. Like, it's not like we're not remaking it, but it's like, technically there is someone in season one that is Troy. Like I, yeah. It's, yeah. So it's such a hard thing to explain. Um, but it, you know, it, it was definitely tough, like a little nerve wracking going into it whenever I was cast. Cause obviously it's such a huge name. And actually whenever I was being cast in it, I think it had a, uh, like a, a code name. I don't think it was in the casting process. It was titled high school musical, mm -hmm. the musical, the series. However, I, I think that we were aware that that's what it was and yeah. aware that, you know, it was, it was kind of the, the show being made about that, um, you know, with that title. So um it's nerve-wracking you know that this show has a huge audience and it reached you know so many people across the world yeah um that there's a bit of pressure trying to like make sure you know you live up to that and you give that that those movies the um the respect and like everything that those movies deserve but also you want to create something that that stands on its own and can stand on its own two feet and that people will love and 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 respect in its own own sense and i think I think I feel like we've done a really great job with that. I feel like Tim, uh, you know, did an incredible job with that. All of our writers, like, it, you know, this show is, I'm so, I'm so proud of this show. Oh, absolutely. You're a big music guy. It's safe to say, right? That, yeah. 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 It, it's, it's it crazy to be on a show where like, there's not music in it or anything. Like, music is like the focal point. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, is yeah. that crazy and fun as well? It is, you know, I, I wasn't a big, I, I would say this show has made me much more of a music Absolutely. person. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, you know, before I loved music, obviously, but I, I loved music like everybody loves music. Like yeah. I was like, oh, I like, <laughs> I enjoy listening to music. Like I don't, but now I feel like there's so many different aspects of music that I like, even just listening to a song, like I pick up on little different, like little things differently. And, um, you know, I, I have a new appreciation for music because I know how tough it is. Mm -hmm um and and so yeah it's definitely interesting being a part of something that that a big part of the show is music um and obviously like getting to work with everyone in the show that that is so like crazy talented mm -hmm. um and everyone who almost everybody can can and, and does write their own music yeah um so you know it's 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 amazing getting to kind of be around them and and learn from them because at some point i would love to be able to do that and so I'm kind of like taking little snippets of tips and tricks here and there from everybody. And so uh, it's it's a very, uh, I feel very lucky to be a part of it. You know, you're pretty established in terms of storyteller with three seasons of High School Musical, the series The Musical. Um, that's that's a muffle, by the way. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a title. <laughs> it's it a, is title. a title. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, when you were younger as well, you know, you did a little bit of Bell the Bulldogs and Nickelodeon and all that and everything. I'm just curious because everyone kind of has an answer to that. When you were on those shows, you know, because that, that was years before you you did High School Musical. Did you yeah. see those like gigs as like a stepping stone or were you just kind of focused on just like the work at hand? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think. I think at the time, I definitely was like just focusing on being there, being present, being a part of that yeah. show, because, you know, it, I, 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 everything I, I've worked on, I feel like I've been lucky enough to work on some really amazing projects. Yeah. And um, so I, at the time, I try to focus on every one of those. And and now, you know, looking back, I do think every single thing is a stepping stone. And yeah, um, and every single th every single thing to me is is extremely important in my life because no matter what happens, no matter what the the, the final product of, of it is, no matter how the experience is, I feel like everything truly happens for a reason. And Hundred percent everything and so um you know it's interesting looking back at things and, and and knowing oh well i see this happen because it led me to this point and yeah. then that happened because that led me here and then and yeah i think everything does kind of you know take a stepping stone and and in this in this industry that you know that that 
I, I'm lucky enough to get to work in. It's everything does kind of like work as a stepping stone and yeah. snowballs and, and helps you kind of move to, to the next thing. It's funny because, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people like yourself that kind of like started like on, you know, like Nickelodeon Disney channel. So that was some of their first gigs. And now, you know, yeah. there are a lot of TV and movies and everything. And everyone kind of says, when I asked that question, cause I always found that really interesting. Cause that's like the yeah. early, that's where it all started. You know what I mean? Yep. So I'm always yep. curious about the mindsets. Everyone kind of says what you said, like at the time it was just work and everything. But one yep. guest once was just like, you know, I knew it was like the first of like many big projects. I knew. Yeah. Stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's a good, yep. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, well, because I like I don't think I would be where I'm at without no. those, you know, like I definitely don't think so. Yeah, absolutely. I think I even remember seeing like one of the episodes because I actually interviewed Breck as well, like a while yeah. ago. I think that was like the storyline was like you were like rival quarterbacks, right? Or something. We were we and were she, rivals. Like, smoked your team or something. Right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> she sure did. She sure did. We were rivals. And uh, and of course, it was that rivals to uh, to uh, liking each other. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Rivals to lovers trope. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was very, very fun. But yeah, we were. We were rival quarterbacks. Her yeah. team smoked our team. Yeah, exactly. um, she was my something. character was so cocky and was like, oh, you're going down. And then she beats us, and I'm like, well, whatever. <laughs> very quickly before we wrap up, you know, season three, it's going to be premiering very soon um, for High School Musical. What are you hoping they get out of it this season, takeaway-wise, the audience, with this season? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, this season's so beautiful, and I think what's awesome is we get to tell – that's the nice thing about doing three seasons, and, yep. you know, now we're, we're getting – we're lucky enough to get a fourth, but – um, and to tell more stories. But I think – And congratulations about that, by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting, you know – the chance to tell so many stories and this season we're telling stories um you know and, and getting to you know put things on the screen that we haven't gotten to do yet yep. and got haven't gotten to show to the fullest extent um that we want to um and you'll see what i'm talking about once you see the show but yep. uh it's uh it, you know i feel so so lucky to get to be a part of a show that that just does tell such great stories and yep. and is um you know so inclusive and, and diverse with their stories and i think it's it's so beautiful yeah. um so I, you know, I, I'm just, I feel very lucky and I hope people really just are able to see themselves, uh, you know, in the show and are able to take away the fact that you, you truly can just be fully you and be proud of that and be proud of who you are. And I, I, I feel like I say that to everybody, but it's something that I truly believe is like, I, it's so important to just be fully yourself and be proud of that. And don't worry about trying to impress other people or what other people think, because if other people don't love you for you being yourself, then that's a them problem, not a you problem. Because Absolutely. the best you can do is be yourself. Absolutely. That's so well said. And yeah, the fans are so excited. They're ready. We see it all on social media. Everything. They are ready. Matt, thank yeah. you so much for coming back on Pop Turtle. It was so great catching it, up. <laughs> thank you so much, Peter. It was good to see you. Absolutely. It's good to see you. Yeah. So, you know, season three, right around the corner, July 27th on Disney+. Plus. Um, Social media, Instagram is the best way for them to connect with you, right? Yes, yeah. Instagram is just my name, Matt Cornett. Easy awesome. enough. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Matt Cornett and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.